If you're a small or a local business owner, today I have five ultra effective, massively effective video SEO marketing tips that you can start implementing today in order to start getting more traffic, more leads, and potentially more customers. So of course, I do not want to waste any time at all. I want to walk you through step-by-step step exactly the tips that you can start implementing. I'll also show you results and proof so you can see that it's been working for me. And I'll also tell you exactly or, or share with you why you should be doing these techniques that I'm going to share with you. So I have five of them. They're all ultra powerful. So stick with me until the very end. So of course, let's get right into it. I don't want to waste any time. So the very first one. All right. I want to share with you a proof, something that I've been testing. I tested it last week on my YouTube channel. It has to do with subtitles. You see YouTube, Google has changed how they're allowing us to update these videos. All right. So if you take a look here last week, I want you to take a look last week. I did it. Look at all CCs and I left one open on purpose. Look at the numbers. A thousand, nineteen, seventeen hundred, eight hundred and thirteen hundred. Look at the one that I didn't do it. And then look at, I, I stopped doing it here. Look at seven, nine, six. This one was four. I just did this before. But what I'm getting at is I started adding all these tips that I'm sharing with you today. But one of the main ones was this subtitles deal, which I figured out a new way to do it. So let me share with you how you can start adding these subtitles for your local video marketing your video campaigns. Let me show you how easy it is and let me give you the tip. So this is tip number one. Let me show you how to go ahead and do this. So once you upload your video, all right, I shared with you that it's definitely effective. It's, it's been helping me, but once you upload your video, you'll come inside of here. You're going to find a video that you want to do this on. So let's say that this is your video. You'll come right inside of here. You're going to click on edit video once it's uploaded. All right. So you'll go into edit video. Once that's done, you're going to come down here to subtitles. See it over here to the left hand side. Click subtitles. Once inside of here, this is the big change that YouTube added. They, they started allowing you to do this even faster and easier than before. It was easy before. It's easier now. But let me give you the tip. So you come in here, click duplicate. All right, now click continue. And then up here at the top, it says assign, assign timings. Click that. It's going to list them all. I always fix the very first word here. Okay, so I want to share this with you, but stick with me. I have way better tips coming. Just stick with me. I want to get this one out of the way, but I have way more for you. Trust me. So I always fix this. And then what I look for is any ums or uhs. All right, so I hit control F and I go UM. Are there any ums? All right, so we're looking for those anything at all. I'm just going to share with you. I'm not going to go through it, but like I usually would do. And then any M's or us, and then I look for any profanities, the big ones. All right. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Because I don't want to get demonetized based on that. So once you take care of that, what I always do or what I've been doing is A, I'm adding the closed caption or the subtitles. But if you scroll down to the very, very bottom, what I've been doing is adding in the name of the video. So I put literally, I just type it in here. So this one was SEO tutorial. So I put in the exact key phrase at the very end for beginners. All right. So on and so forth. I'm not going to write it in just for time. And then also sprinkled throughout the subtitles, I'm adding more keywords. Now let me show you how easy this is. So once that's done, I've added more keywords. I put the main key phrase at the very end. I checked the very first, uh, phrase, I, I capitalized the letter, took out any us or ums and any profanity that it might have put in there that because I don't ever use profanity in my videos. And then I hit publish. Once that's done, I come back to my video. If you come back here and what you'll see is that green one where it was gone. Now we have CC details that have been stuffed in with a little extra keyword love. And as you can see from last week when I ran this little test, it absolutely has affected the long term uh, effectiveness of these videos. So that's tip number one. Let's keep going. I have more for you. Let's talk about this quick little tip. This is video schema. All right. So let me share with you the benefits of it. So if you type in, let's do drive stacks. All right. Just type in drive stacks. As you can see here, see this video. This is a video that's mine up at the very top. See how there's these, it picks these out. On YouTube, they call it chapters, but this is a SERP enhancement and it's on mobile and it's also on uh, desktop. 
obviously, right? Because I'm showing you desktop. So with this being said, this is very easy to implement, but let's say, hey, Chris, I don't want to add all these chapters and I don't want to do all this. Let me show you the fast, easy way to not only get an enhancement like this, but also I'm able to get an exact key phrase on the page. Plus it's super easy and fast to do. Let me show you how to do it. All right. So here's what you need to do. So you go, you'll, again, you'll have your video uploaded. You're going to find a video that is already uploaded. you already did the subtitles. You'll come in here. You're going to click on edit. All right. Once inside of edit, you want to grab the title, whatever the name of the video is, no matter what you want to grab that. You're going to click enter, enter. You can do it at the bottom, the top. You don't want it to be in the first sentence, but no matter what, the very first one has to be a zero colon zero zero. And then if you look at the source code, when you do this there, it's actually like it's an enhancement in the source code. They're looking at it differently, but I'm able to get the exact key phrase that I want to on the page again. So this is what I would do. So you add this in and then at the very beginning, write intro. Now you could keep going. They have to be at least 10 seconds apart, but you could do this again. So let's go two minutes and then you could say your secondary keyword. So let's just do, do follow backlink tips, right? And so on and so forth. But if you're, if, if you're feeling lazy, you don't want to do it, get the exact phrase, do zero colon zero zero. Then you'll be able to get these enhancements. You'll get an added bonus. Plus it looks really cool. If you gain the keyword, just like this one. So that's tip number two, that's video schema, the fast and easy way that you can just add it in, get SERP enhancements and potentially get more traffic and clicks. Cause look at this enhancement. It's crazy. Let's keep going on. I have tip number three for you. This is going to be like a uh, double whammy of sorts. Now I'm going to go back to the same exact video, but before I do, because this is a video marketing video, it's a video SEO video. You might not be a, an SEO. You might just like video. You might just want to rank your videos higher. So let me explain something to you called internal linking. All right. So what is, what is internal linking? Now I know exactly what it is, but I, I like when other people write about it. So stick with me. So it'll all make sense. All right. So what is internal linking? So if you come in here, what is it? Why and how, but let's go down here. So quite simply. All right. So here in layman's terms, an internal link is one that points to another page on the same website. Now, why do you do this? Because if you're looking at DAPA, which is a Moz metric, this is the site I'm on. These are third party metrics. DRUR, that's Ahrefs. That's the overall site authority. SEMrush is actual authority. Trust flow, citation flow. This is majestic. With all this being said, Google used to use something called PageRank. And let me go ahead and explain something to you. So if I had a website, all right, that was a page rank. All right, page rank, let's say it was a seven and I internally linked to a page rank four that would almost automatically become a five or maybe even a page rank six. Why am I telling you this? There's two reasons why, because this is a two part tip that I want to give you internal linking, whether it's on your website or on YouTube is very effective, especially when you're talking about an authority domain, such as Google or YouTube, same thing, high power, high authority. So let me give you a two part tip here that will certainly help your videos perform not only in the SERPs, but also on YouTube. Let me go ahead and give that to you. So if you come over here to your, uh, videos, what you want to do is l take the video. If you, we, if we're looking at Moz, let's see if my uh, little bar is working here. Let me just tell you without the bar, this is a DA 99 site. All right. Page rank is probably a hundred according to Moz or whatever tool you use. YouTube's got it going on, right? So what you want to do is you want to copy this link and do a link to link link to yourself. This is an internal link to yourself. All right. I've already explained to you the power of internal linking. Now this is only if you're using one video. Let me share with you how you can take this a step further to really get some power, especially if you have a small or local business. All right. Let me show you how to make this ultra effective. You ready? You guys are going to love this. This is something that I've been implementing. I have a particular lawyer client 
out west. Don't worry, we're not in competition, but this is what we've been implementing. I want you to take this into consideration. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the dentistry niche, all right? So let's say that we're a dentist, all right? Now, why I really love this is you have your YouTube channel and it's about dentistry, you have your brand name. But now we are in New York, all right? Now our main page, our, our, our main couple videos are about New York, but inside of New York, we're just using this as an example, there's what's called boroughs. So there's Manhattan, right? There's Stanton Island. I don't know if that's a borough, but whatever. There's Brooklyn. Okay. There is, uh, uh, the Bronx. All right. Any case. So we have all of these different playlists. Okay. Stick with me inside of these. I create for Manhattan. So I have best dentist Manhattan cosmetic, de cosmetic dentistry, Manhattan. These are videos, right? Cosmetic. I have, um, I don't know, teeth pulling Manhattan, whatever it is, Manhattan, Manhattan, Manhattan. It's my keywords plus Manhattan again for Staten Island, my keywords plus Staten Island or Staten Island plus keywords. Again, these are videos inside of a playlist. All right. So this is the playlist. So this is my brand name, Manhattan Dentistry Playlist. And inside of this are videos pertaining to my main keywords plus Manhattan inside of a playlist. You can look at this just like a website, a silo. But I want you to, again, I'm, I'm taking that internal linking concept a little step further and it's definitely effective. Give it a try. So if we have this page, this is our main playlist. All right. Inside of here, we create five, 10, 20 videos, probably five. And they're all linking up to the main biggest keyword video. What, how do you think that particular video is going to perform? Do you think that it will be able to outperform a lot of videos that were in the SERPs before you say perhaps like this one, who knows? right? So what I'm saying is there's a silo structure for playlisting. It's ultra effective, especially if you're a small business or a local business where there's only a couple SERP results anyway. All right. You get what I'm saying? I'm able to internally link the videos within a playlist up. Not only will I be able to list that playlist, but also that top video internal linking YouTube videos, ultra effective guaranteed. I cannot show you this try it out. All right. Um, next. All right. I want to share with you this. All right. So this will be the last tip and it has to do with hashtags. Now, most people look at the YouTube hashtags for one reason or another. Most notably, it's because they have their own search results. So let's take hashtag SEO. Better yet, since this is a, 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 a local video marketing, let's do local video marketing. All right. Again, it's going to have its own search results. This is why most people utilize it. Also, I'm able to put hashtag and put the exact phrase that I'm targeting within the description or within the content. These are all valid reasons. These are helpful reasons, but this is not why I like to do it. Let me share with you why you should be using hashtags within your videos. And let me share with you that now, and then I'll share with you why it's beneficial. So if we were to take um, let's say, um, I don't know. How about, uh, how about, uh, drive stacks, Chris Palmer. All right. Let's just take that one. We'll come over here. We'll go to videos. All right. And let's go to page number four. Okay. Let's go to page number three. And then let's scroll on down here and let's take a look at some of these results. So we have a website here called web.codefilm, web.codefilm. Now I just pulled in that one keyword. Here's web.codefilm again. If we keep scrolling up, let's see who else used my videos or better yet, Chris Palmer SEO. Let's I, again, stick with me. I'm just, I'm just giving you the proof. I just want to share with you something. This is ultra effective for you. So if we come over here. Now, again, here's the code film, code film, code film is really doing it big with my stuff. I have no idea who they are. Uh, let's keep going here. So here's SEO dash focus.com. Okay. That's one of my videos evergreen internet marketers. That's one of my videos. 
okay uh let's keep going down rankpedia there's one of my videos fresh content and, and it goes on and on now most people most businesses your competitors your local business or small business competitors are putting these hashtags in to be cute the reason why I want you to put these hashtags inside of your videos, not only to add the keywords to the page, but because when these scrapers come in, they're looking at the tags and they're looking at the hashtags on the videos. Some of them are using titles, but what I found is they're looking specifically for the tags in the video and the hashtags that are being utilized within the description. So the reason why I want you to start doing this is because then you're getting free promotion, free embeds, free internal linking, other sites, more potential eyeballs on your videos, on your business that could be potential customers. And then on top of that, there's links inside of there. Some of these sites just blast up the video. So then I'm getting links, I'm getting internal link juice, I'm getting traffic. You see how this could be effective? It's like a, a mass embed campaign that you're able to produce for free by accident. So these are my five tips, all right? My name is Chris Palmer. If you have any further questions related to video SEO, local SEO, national SEO, international SEO, affiliate SEO, Google Maps, Google My Business, any of these topics, always feel free to go ahead and ask in the comments below. I answer every question as long as it's relevant and it's not profane, okay? Uh, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video SEO, local video marketing video. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.